Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Fitment Industries, and today we're going to be talking to you about everything you need to know about multi-piece wheels. So I know that sounds pretty generic and stuff, but we thought we would talk a little bit about it because the current automotive scene has gotten extremely popular in terms of multi-piece wheels, but not a lot of people really understand why they've become so popular or where they originally came from, so we just thought we'd shed a little bit of light on it. So before we get started, I'm gonna give you the favorite sales pitch that everybody loves. Just be sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 50,000 and it would help out a ton if you just hit that little red button. But let's just get right into it. So multi-piece wheels originally started as a way for racing teams to create custom wheels for their specific need and want. So back in the day, there weren't really a lot of options Options. In fact, really there was steel and alloy and that was pretty much it. To make a wheel in a certain size required a mold and back in the day if you think it was hard getting molds now, it's even more difficult to get custom made molds for just one or two applications and it became clear that they needed some sort of way to customize a wheel without having to go through all the hassle of finding a factory and doing this and doing that for just one car or one racing event and thus multi-piece wheels were born. And what that allowed the companies to do or the racing teams to do was to create custom built wheels exactly to what they needed. There really were only a few companies that were capable of doing it. We had companies like BBS, companies like Work or Weds that were really capable of creating multi-piece wheels because they just had the technology and the means at the time. Plus they were really involved in the racing enterprise. Well, now as we've gotten more current, there are other companies doing it as well. Concept One is one of those brands, ESR, Rota form, pretty much anything out there starting to really get into multi-piece wheels because it's become such a hot topic and a pretty common buy in the current scene. But nowadays it's not really for creating some sort of custom race built setup, it's become more about just flashy wheels. And that's where multi-piece wheels have truly shined, is the way that they're just completely customizable. Everything that you could possibly want in terms of a wheel, you can probably get from a multi-piece wheel. Different companies off a plethora of different faces and centers and different designs that you can run. And on top of that, they have different sort of intricacies, whether you're looking at bolts, hardware, or anything in between. Multi-piece wheels is just there because of how customizable it is. The craze to wide body and over fender has gotten more and more common. And what that allows people to do is build Build wheels that fit that exact setup. So whether you're looking at a stock body or you're looking to go rocket bunny, multi-piece wheels allows you to just create the wheel that you need to fit pretty much any application. If you're looking for a 19 by 10 and a half negative 13 offset, multi-piece wheels can do that. If you're looking for a 22 by 10 and a half and a negative 33 offset, Multi-piece wheels can do that. They can do pretty much anything you could possibly want them to do if you're looking for an exact measurement wheel. That's what makes them so awesome, but that's also what makes them so pricey. So we're gonna get into that here just a little bit. So when we look at a multi-piece wheel, we're generally gonna talk about a three-piece wheel. Now there are two-piece welded wheels that exist out there and they are still pretty common. Uh, there are companies like Work and Vossen that partner to make two-piece wheels and then you can buy them already figured out and together with the offset that you need. But we're gonna be talking about three-piece wheels just because that's a little bit more fun. So so three piece wheels consists of, well, three parts. Duh, a spun outer lip, usually made of aluminum, an inner barrel, and then obviously, and most commonly, a forged center, and that is actually going to be your face of the wheel. Now, when we look at a multi-piece wheel, there's a couple different ways that companies have designed them or put them together, depending on what works for them. You're gonna see a lot of times companies mostly We'll use a silicone sealant to keep the wheel together, to keep it airtight when you put the tire on it. On top of that, there also features the, the hardware here that allows you to just essentially put the wheel together. But these rivets are actually kept at a pretty low torque spec. So for the most part, there really isn't a whole lot that keeps the wheel together by itself. There are, of course, different things that take into account to pull a wheel apart. And it's not as easy as it sounds, but in terms of really what companies do, that's, that's it. Work is one of those companies that takes a little bit of a different avenue and what they do is they will actually weld some of their wheels together just to make sure that you're increasing the rigidity and the strength of the overall wheel. But that's gotten a lot less common. A lot of times companies will silicone seal it, they'll put the hardware in there, they'll torque that to spec and then you're ready to roll. And by the time you put tires on it, you get it onto the car, just the way that the rotational mass works, it doesn't really have that much of effect on essentially splitting the wheel if you needed to. Now it can happen, but it's extremely unlikely. I really can't emphasize enough the amount of customization you can get. Even when we go just to the outer spun lip, you have different options. You can just do a standard lip, you can do a step lip, you can do a double step lip, you can do pretty much anything you could possibly imagine. When it comes to the actual face of the wheel, you can go with a reverse uh, lip, you can go with 
these weird different style floating spokes. You can go with just hard spokes, you can go with reverse spokes, you can go with pretty much anything you could possibly want. And I'm glad that we're gonna be talking about this while we're shooting a video because all those names kind of sound the same. So we'll put some pictures up for you guys to kind of look at the differences between the two. When you go into more customization, just the hardware itself is a piece of its own. You can have different colors, different options, different finishes, different your hardware can be different in terms of material. There's all sorts of things that if you really want to pay the extra money, you can get. But to give you an example of what we're looking at here, this is a Concept One. This is a CF003SX. And this was made by Concept One. And this is relatively a new design that Concept One is doing for their multi piece wheels. They wanted to do something that was that typical multi spoke but looked really good. Something like this is going to end up costing you probably around $6,000. And that's what makes multi piece wheels so kind of a deterrent to a lot of people is just how expensive these wheels can truly be. But that's the price that you pay for having the customization of making any wheel that you want. On top of the fact that you can just do anything with the face as well, different brands do a ton of different designs and 90% of them are going to be original designs. Meaning that a lot of times, Companies aren't gonna be stealing those sort of designs from each other just because of how much you're paying. A lot of times designers will go in there for companies, create the wheels, get paid, and then they leave. And those are the designs that get made and sold to people like you and me. A lot of companies have gone through and tried to make their multi-piece wheels as light as possible, and they have gotten better. Multi-piece wheels are still pretty heavy when it comes down to the alternative of what you have in a little bit of the same diameter. But because it's forged, because the barrel is spun, a lot of times uh, you're cast, you're not gonna have a cast face anymore, you're gonna have a forged face just because of the price point. What you are gonna get is a very strong wheel, and that's a super cool thing because monoblock forged wheels are pretty pricey as well, and for a slight amount increase in what you're gonna be paying, you can have a lot more customization that multi-piece wheels offer. But if you're looking to do something with the multi-piece wheel, maybe this is your first time towards buying multi-piece wheels, there's a couple things that you guys got to remember. Number one thing is that the wheels are going to be a lot like any other part of your car. Occasionally they are going to need uh, you know, cleaning, they're going to need repairs, they're going to need fixes. And the way that I say that is because multi-piece wheels just sometimes have an issue with staying alive. And that's not always the case, but especially older wheels are going to have to be refinished. A lot of times the hardware can come out or get loose. A lot of times you can have a bent lip or something like that. They have to get replaced. And it's not the end of the world because you can replace that part, but you're going to have to remember that just like anything else, there are going to be times where you're going to need to replace and repair a piece of your wheel. And because it's multi-piece, just means that you're gonna have to repair more than one piece sometimes. On top of that, another thing you have to remember is just the basic price point of what you're gonna be paying for a multi-piece wheel. You're going to be paying, generally speaking, more. The most affordable multi-piece wheels that we see out there right now are around $3,500. And of course, those wheels don't have a lot of history behind them just yet. If you're looking to get wheels that have history and have reliability and people are already running them, probably paying anywhere from five to eight grand. And that's just how the price point is right now. And we'll probably see it right around there for another couple of years. Final, most important thing that you gotta remember is the wait time that you're gonna have on some of these wheels. So a lot of companies will always say six to eight weeks, and that's usually not the case. Uh, work wheels, multi-piece wheels, they do a great job with making quality wheels, but their delays are sometimes pretty darn long. You're looking at five, six months to get your wheels. Concept One sometimes experiences the same issue. So you're always gonna have companies that are gonna tell you four to six weeks, but you're likely not going to get them for eight to 12 weeks. So just remember if you're looking to pick up a set of these wheels that if you're buying them in June, you probably won't have them until the season is over. So that is everything that you need to know about multi-piece wheels. Drop a comment below if you have any questions, but I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. And if you're interested in picking up some multi-piece wheels, head on over to www.fitmentindustries.com. You can actually send in a quote. We have accounts with work and all them fun guys. So if you're interested, let us know. But I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. We'll see you later. Peace.